What's going on everybody? It is the last day of the week here. It is Friday. The spy is down about two and a half points to start. Um, shop's looking like, uh, like it's gonna be the candidate to watch right now. I got, I think, uh, three gappers. There's more gappers to look at, but I think these three were the best because I still want to kind of watch the fang stocks. I'm really starting to get into those. But shop's got about... Mm -hmm. Uh, till 145 until the circuit breaker hits hits on, and um, it's also a significant daily spot. So uh, obviously pretty overextended here. Uh, we were starting to come back, popping up a little bit. Uh, it'd be nice to see a little refresher on this thing. But uh, if it's gonna keep selling off, I mean I I don't have a problem getting in short somewhere. Uh, Baba also looking pretty good here it just broke down underneath pre-market lows also a significant daily spot to about 147 it's kind of come back to 147.50 to retest but I mean there's plenty of stuff to look at right now uh, XPO massively sold off just announced a uh, buyback a billion dollar buyback so they're at about eight percent potentially a good trade in there um, I'm definitely thinking shop is the best though right now. Let's see what happens at the open. Probably look at that volume. Four hundred is gonna be way too big. See a bounce. Jeez. Well, I can't trade against that. Jeez. Spice selling off pretty much all the fang stocks are making the exact same move here. That uh that is definitely too much. Hmm, Baba might have been a nice spot. We're on pre-market highs here. Hmm, Baba was the only uh, big name stock here. I usually keep Baba with the uh, Fang names. Baba's the only one that wasn't dropping yet. I'm going for this if I can get in. That's not right. Now it's right. Getting closer. I'm in. Let's see if we can get a nice sell off. If not, I'm out above the whole number. Let's see if we can bounce. Oh, that's it. Yeah, Cap and Go is just done working. Crazy. Hmm. Apple's really selling off here. Shop is getting to that 10% mark. XPO, good god. Gapping up 8%, now it's only up 2%. Hmm. Bob is back down here again. Something interesting about here. Keep bouncing, keep trying to break it, but we're just not. 
It's almost setting up for a good opening range play down here. Let's see what happens in the next minute or so. Let's see, from 50 to 80 would be, yeah, so 300 shares would be possible here. <laughs> Seeing some crazy patterns out here. Bob is really I'm I'm gonna take Baba here. I'm gonna take a short again on the flows. It looks pretty good. We're kinda coming back to view app for a little retest here. If we wanna break under the lows here, it might wanna start moving. Spy's pulling up though, that's not a help. I'm gonna go for this. Pretty nice move so far. Holy cow, that is crazy. Covering 250 here. That was a move and a half. I'm gonna leave 50 because this is a really big uh, daily spot here. You can see that we just kind of broke, I don't know, it looks better on um, trading view, hold on. I'm make sure there's nothing else to trade. Really short here, good size, uh, really strong right now. Yeah. Because I'm just, I'm kind of here, it's here. 
Really long still, but that's what I have here. Basically, everything is in here. That's pretty awesome. Uh, I'll use not showing the size of the design here. Only a little bit. Um, I don't feel like I'm going to be a little bit. It's like this video. It's a 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 video. It's a
Okay, so Facebook actually finally did start breaking down out of this range. It looks like it's come back for a little bit of a retest here. The volume got really low, um, super low on this pullback too. SPY is looking like it's getting ready to fail and drop a little lower here. I'm waiting to see what happens with this candle here. So we just kind of close the above view app. It's just another kind of awkward situation. It's not exactly perfect. I mean, all this uh, resistance not exactly acting like support here. We just tapped above again, going into the sixes. So, um, I don't like it for long because we got obviously the 50 and then the 9 minutes, 5 is right here at 27, so I'm not, I'm not trying to long anything. I don't think I have a trade anymore on it either. It's making a push for this 20 again, I, mean, I just don't know. If this move fails, could it still be a good short? Maybe. I don't think so, though. I don't know. I'm not going to trade it. I'm going to leave it alone. XPO came back, though. I don't see anything here, either. Maybe a long, very clear support in a little bit here if it wants to come back down. Uh, there might be something here. We'll see. So Facebook is a little interesting here. Uh, SPY has been dropping throughout this entire duration, and SPY has been bouncing, moving higher during this little recent consolidation in Facebook here. But Facebook is not moving any higher, so I'm looking for the same situation. I want to see just a slight little push above this range here, maybe another retest. And I can try and get short somewhere. Spy's really moving up right now, but uh, Facebook doesn't seem to be following it. 
So let's tell me Facebook's kind of weak. Need to wait just a little bit more here. Here we go. Go to 12, I want to see like 15. Higher these are 16. So 18 is my stop loss for now. That might have been it. That might have been the best shot I got. But uh, Spy's still moving up here. We'll see what happens with another view app retest. I just don't want to see it break it. Hmm. Some awkward spots here. There's got to be some hidden buyers in here because this has held for three minutes straight here at one spot. Then we got a low of 96, another low of 96, another low of 96. So uh, something's going on around here. Spice turning around. This might be it, but I don't have my entry. With these hidden buyers like this, we might want to see another little squeeze here before it wants to head lower. Because I don't think the smart short sellers are entering right in front of that guy. At least not without a much better entry. Close. Hey, after 20 minutes, Adobe finally made a move. Yeah, I really like this for a short, but I need to see some kind of view app something here because clearly we're not head lower until something happens. Either these buyers got a break or we really need to confirm that we're not moving any higher here because we don't seem to have enough power to push you lower yet. Well, there it is. Well, now I need to wait uh, for a possible retest here. 
really need to see some conviction on this. Okay, well I might be getting my little retest already here. Uh, it's coming back up, it's pushing higher. A huge green candle in the spy is definitely going to make a difference. But, uh, so far that was pretty alright. I'd really like to see it touch this 16-17-ish. Uh, Spy is super strong right now. Needs to be A plus. I need to take an A plus setup. It has to get to 16 and it has to retrace. It's got to do it. I can't take it if it doesn't because we already broke underneath this range here and it got bought back up which tells me it could be a case for a fake breakdown could still be a good short but it's got to convince me that it doesn't want to go higher Spies seems to be pushing a little higher again here. Here we go. I saw 16. If I see 17, 15 and a half. Spy is just very strong right now. There's 17. Lots of red here. Yeah. Spice turn around, come back to view up. Looking a little weaker here. I'm going to lower my size and I'm going to enter in if we get to six, which looks like we're about to. Okay, I'm in on this. Stop it just in case here. So the spy blasted off here. Really, Facebook kind of followed it, but not too much. We just kind of topped out and we're reversing, and that's what made me want to get in on this. So now we just oops, wait and see. See if we can break lower underneath this 85 here. And the spy's coming back. And I am out at 21. Well, that was definitely very frustrating. I didn't want to risk all my profits, so, so that's fine. I got what I wanted to see. I mean, finally retested above and came back underneath. Just uh, no follow through. Okay, I think I'm just going to call it a little early today. I'm um, just really not seeing... A whole lot out there that makes me want to trade so I'm just gonna do a quick recap uh, Baba gap and go 
really just Gavin Go is just not working lately. Um, I've lowered my size on pretty much all my Gap and Go strategies. Uh, really only risking 100 per trade now instead of what used to be like 300, 400 because they just aren't working. Um, this one wasn't a plus Gap and Go setup, but I know Baba can't always make these moves. It just uh, took a little bit longer in this case. Uh, so I hit the Gap and Go, got out right above the whole number. Then I uh, went for the opening range break because it looked really good under this 147.50, which is also a pretty big daily level. I mean, the break was just great. Uh, got a full point out of it immediately and uh, covered most of it as it started looking like it was bottoming out because I know 147 was another big daily spot. That uh, As soon as we broke from that, I was just waiting for some buyers to come in, but I uh, never really got them until about 146.50. And then I held on to another 50. Because I figured that if, you know, the spy was already down, Baba wants to keep going lower, we just broke underneath the big daily level, they might want to go a couple more points, you know, throughout the day, but uh, very quickly, immediately, the bounce came, and I just hit out close to my entry. And yeah, just about right in front of it. And a little after, it looks like. So that was a pretty good, pretty decent trade. I probably should have, I don't know, trying to turn a day trade into an intraday trade maybe a little much, but I, pr I might have wanted to cut that trade off a little earlier, if anything. And then Facebook, I probably just should have avoided this. I mean, whenever I sit here and I debate on these trades for so, so long, waiting for forever for a certain signal to happen, just usually doesn't end up working too well. So Facebook, um, really not matched up with the SPY whatsoever. Uh, looks like about 10, 12, it started taking off. Not too much with the spy. So Facebook, for the most part, is kind of doing its own thing. And the spy dropped to 1026. Facebook dropped to 1026. So I guess it can make a little bit of a difference depending on what exactly the spy is doing. But I guess the spy has got to make dramatic moves for Facebook to be influenced. I mean, this entire time we were dropping, Facebook really wasn't dropping too hard. But uh, once we found a bottom, it looks like 1035. Facebook also found a bottom here at 1035. Figured, um,. Especially now you, see, you, know, you see this kind of range consolidation here. You know, a lower high, then it made a little... Actually, that was about the same. So I was waiting for a push push higher to convince me that it wants to go lower, but instead we got a push lower, convincing me that it wants to go higher. But I still ended up shorting it, because I was still waiting for that signal to get a little break above here. Got that break above, and then it came back underneath VWAP. Entered in short... Figure we might see some more continuation. Looks like that was 10:49. So I mean, the spy is still pretty strong, and I think uh, I think my opportunity was just gone after this. I think again, you know, it's these warning signs. I just gotta pay attention to the warning signs. I mean, there's just no reason to try and fight these things. You know, I'm obviously gonna lose each and every single time. There's no sense in putting my money towards something that isn't an A plus setup anymore. Plus, already triggered one direction and, you know, faked everybody out, bought back up, you know. It's just not a good short anymore after that. But today's pretty weird. Um, things really weren't following this spy as much as I thought they would be. I mean, for Apple, Apple looked weak throughout the entire day here because the spy was moving up for the first half hour of the day and Apple's just moving down for the first half hour of the day and then you know here at 1035 it starts coming back up same at 1035 a spy starts coming back up so I mean I don't know it's one of those days I guess you know it feels like it's earlier this week things were following the spy you know pretty closely you know it was easy to determine a good situation if you had a good trade or not but uh, the last three days this week was pretty tough in trying to figure out uh, how synced up with the spy any of these stocks have been so it's just getting kind of hard to read so I'm just gonna I'm gonna leave while I still got some money I'll uh, do a weekly review probably tomorrow I got a lot to do today so I'll probably get to it tomorrow uh, plenty of trades to go over so that'll be a fun one but until then I will be back later thanks for watching